right, guys, I'm back again, like five minutes later, to give you Volume 40 of Buster's Book Reviews. Okay, if you remember Volume 38, it was a little cozy mystery called Blueberry Muffin Murder by Joanne uh, Fluke. Well, I've got Book 4 here. It, that, that one was Book 3 in the series. This is Book 4 in the series. Oh, I'm going in order now. Maybe one day I'll read the first two. But anyway, this one is called Lemon Meringue Pie Murder. Okay, it is a heat wave in Minnesota, which sounds kind of weird, because I thought it was always freaking cold there. But anyway, it is a heat wave and ungodly, and it's like summertime, and uh, they're setting up for a, a 4th of July festival, I think. And, uh, and uh, well, uh, Hannah's doing her day-to-day -day life, trying not to find dead bodies, which is hard for her. And, uh, but then she learns, remember how I said in, uh, you really need to watch that other review before you watch this one. Uh, it was volume 38, I believe. Well, ha remember Hannah's dating the dentist in town, Norman Rhodes, and, uh, uh, the head detective in the sheriff's department, Mike Kingston. Well, uh, turns out Nor her and Norman, which I guess was in one of the first two books, they designed a dream house and won a contest for it and now Norman's gonna build the house he's got the plans he's gonna build it and he's like oh my god is he gonna build the house and ask me to marry him and or whatever Woo! well anyway Norman just bought a house from a lady who inherited it from her aunt so she sold it to him uh, and uh, so he's gonna tear down the house then build the dream house they designed well before uh, he tears it down, he tells uh, 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 her, Hannah's mama, who owns the antique store uh, with uh, his mama, that they can uh, go in and get any antiques that are in there and sell them in their shop. Well, they go in there, and uh, Norman and, uh, and uh, Hannah's talking in the kitchen, and uh, uh, her mama goes down into the basement. Well, she's there for a long time, and they go, uh, they, uh, they end up going down looking for her, and as they go, she comes back up, walking like a zombie, and she's like, I found a body, which I think is incredibly ironic, because she's always like, Anna, you gotta stop finding dead bodies, and then she finds a dead body, and, uh, they walk her out, calm her down, and they're like, well, maybe she didn't really see a dead body, so they go down and check, and they look, and guess what, it really is a dead body. It turns out it was the lady that sold Norman the house. Well, now the whole house is a dead gum crime scene. And like, in, you know how in part three, when her cookie shop was the murder scene and she couldn't get into it? Well, now Norman can't dare down the house and get started on building and stuff because that's a crime scene. So now Hannah is going to have to investigate. And, well, her brother-in-law and Mike, they done learned that the might as well stop fussing about her getting into involved investigations because she's better at it than they are. Well, she goes and starts investigating. It goes through Hannah's story, day-to-day uh, -day life uh, with her cat, and uh, her her uh, uh, her sister's pregnant. And I I didn't I should have mentioned her sister uh, uh, more in uh, the, uh, the the other book. Her sister who helped her investigate a lot. She's kind of like her sidekick. She can't be as much of a sidekick in this one because she's pregnant again with her second child. And, and Hannah's third sister, the youngest one, is coming to town. So uh, it goes through every, all the days. And uh, you get, get introduced to some more characters and stuff. And there's not really much I can tell without spoiling it. But I loved it. It's another five star. I mean, I absolutely love this series. I'm so glad I found it. And once again, there's like 10 yummy recipes in here, and I've tried a couple of them, and, and I, I do my best. They always taste pretty good, but they're always ugly as sin. A lot of times I put them on, and the cookie dough on, and they ends up making one giant freaking cookie, and you have to cut it like a cake. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not much of a chef or, or a baker, but I'm doing my best. I was inspired, but this is a five-star read. Uh, it would take a lot for me not to give any of the, these books five stars. I, it seems to me that they just get better and better as they go along. Uh, one of my next ones will be uh, the, the fifth in the series that I've already read. 
uh, fudge cupcake murder, and I've got, I just got sugar cookie murder in the mail. So the reviews are going to keep coming. I do have another Dean Koontz book coming that uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to doing a review. My, uh, Chris's dad has it right now, though, because he's reading it. But uh, I, I just wanted to catch up, get some more reviews up, and uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, that'll do it for this video. And until next time, happy reading.